Today, we're going to see the RX 6750 XT will live up to its birthright and be incredible at 1440p gaming. AMD states this is their 1440p GPU, and we're going to find out. This video is brought to you in part by Enermax. Enermax is a leading manufacturer of high performance PC hardware, including their well built, budget friendly Cyber Bond and Marble Bond series of power supplies, along with their new LickMax 3 series AIOs, now available in white. For more information, please check out the link in the description below. What's up, guys? My name is Juan, and you're watching my channel, Blueprint PC. In this video, we're going to see if the RX 6750 XT can really do a great job at 1440p gaming. AMD states that the 6700 series is engineered for 1440p gaming. So whether it's a 6700 or 6750, they say it's engineered for 1440p. So today we're gonna find out if that's actually true or if it's just a really awesome 1080p card. All right, so for those of you that are new here, you'll probably notice, because I'm gonna put my benchmark specs on the screen here, but you'll probably notice that I do things a little bit differently here. I try to build what I consider like an average gamer's test bench here. Now, mind you, yes, it's still kind of higher end for you know the past so many years, but again, I'm trying to give you real world results and not hopes and dreams. That's why I don't run a 12900K or you know a 5950X or something like that. Just so that way, there's a little bit of meat on the bone if you have an equivalent system or a better system. If you get, have a better system than what I'm running on my test bench, then you should expect better results so if you're satisfied with what you see just know you're going to do the same or better anywho all these benchmarks today were done at 1440p default high settings and i mean default i didn't tweak nothing i didn't adjust nothing no esports tuning no nothing no nada these are all high settings because i feel at least that in 1440p you're going to want that higher fidelity graphics to enjoy that experience at the higher resolution so let's go ahead let's jump into the benchmarks and see how we did Now that you've seen the benchmarks here, it's time to decide. How well did it do? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Me personally, I think it did pretty well. Did it knock it out of the park? There was a few games it got beat up a little bit in, primarily Cyberpunk, but Cyberpunk is kind of an outlier where it, you know, it's not the most optimized game and it is a very demanding and beautiful looking game. So you gotta give a little bit of a benefit of the doubt of, hey, it did its best, right? Uh, but ultimately, it's up to you if that's the experience you want or if you wanna put more money towards something else. Now, that being stated, uh, competitors for this in the market, it's gonna be funky for a little while here, so please check your prices through multiple sources, Best Buy, Newegg, Amazon, everything, because they're all over the place from MSRP to whatever, uh, you know, above and beyond, because the market's coming down, which is great, but there's still a few oddities in the market, like 3070s are still relatively overpriced at the present moment, and that just depends on the day. I've seen a few tickle into the 600s, but it's been few and far between. Now, I don't know yet if that's gonna be a better buy to do 3070 versus this, but I will because I have an upcoming video comparing this to the 3070, so get subscribed if you wanna see that. Another option to consider would be a 6800 
non-XT. If you can find that at a smoking deal, but that's also one of those cards, which is still unfortunately a bit overpriced right now. It's still too high above MSRP to make a lot of sense. Again, find a great deal, do it. But uh, you can maybe consider the 6700 non-50, if that's how they wanna say it, uh, just because it's gonna get you close. And again, it depends on the price. If you know if they're about the same price, get the better one. Makes sense to me at least. But ultimately, it's up to you how you guys spend your money. So do me a favor. Drop your comments in the comments below. Drop any questions there as well. And I'm going to try to wrap this one up. And uh, hit that like subscribe button. And I'll catch you in the next one.